Hello and welcome to another tutorial and this time we're going to have a look at the quarry so that's sort of the next thing I, I did in my um, playthrough um, so you can use these um, power well the EU power so the industrial craft power to power the quarry but we'll get to that later because you have to convert it so we'll get to that in the next uh, next tutorial so what do we need to make a quarry well we need some uh, I actually forgot one thing as well we need some lapis although it's not a requirement but it's better Good. So, what do we need? Well, we need some wood, some cobblestone, some diamonds, iron, gold, and I'll show you the recipe first, and then we actually get get to making it. So that's the recipe. Fairly um, very simple, but very expensive because <coughs> all these. So let's look at the diamond gear. We need four diamonds each, and we need two of them, and a gold gear, and it's for um gold and an iron gear, which is all this iron, and then the stone, and then wood, the sticks, so it's, it's, whew. So let's make a bunch of sticks, and let's just make 16 wooden gears, that should be enough. And then we need, let's look at a quarry again. Oh. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need seven stone gears. And let's do it properly straight away. Seven. So let's make those into stone gears. And let's make those into iron gears. And these are all the same recipes, just around the gear. So now we have seven iron gears. Now, let's see. And we need three iron gears, and then we need four that need to go further. Two into gold, and two into diamond. Phew. So we need to get four. And then, so they all have to go into diamond, into gold. And then two need to stay gold, and two need to go into diamond. So there we go. That's all the gears we need. Now, apart from that, we need a diamond pickaxe. Do we have some sticks? Yep. Phew. And that's about it, I think. Yep. Easy. So the recipe is red sun at the top, and I'll just remove this so it's easy for you to see. Uh, and then the iron gears like so, the gold gears here, diamond gears on the side bottom, and the pickaxe there. Perfect. Whew, that's expensive, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. <coughs> so how do we use this? Well, when you place it, it sort of makes this sort of wireframe. Now, that's where it's going to dig but just bear in mind that it's gonna make a frame it's gonna build it and the frame is gonna be on this line so it's not actually digging out this area it's digging out this block so inside of this line it's gonna dig out so that's sort of something to keep in mind if you wanna um, wanna have more precision you know um, now one thing we can do to change this which is usually a good idea usually a good idea is you make a couple of redstone torches and let's just make five. Now four of these we put some lapis on top and that makes you a landmark and we want four of those. Now before you place this, uh, oops, <laughs> this thing, we can map out an area first. So you know say we have this and it's, it's a bit dangerous and, and we sort of want it to match up exactly or whatever you know just put one lapis torch. You can put a redstone torch next to it and that sort of makes this wireframe you can sort of see where you have to put the next one. Um so let's uh let's uh, let's make it dig out to here. And then this one maybe till oh let's just make it long. I actually don't know what the limits are but um let's do it till here. So it's this line here. Now once you're done with all that, um you can remove your redstone torches by the way. Um, or leave them, doesn't matter. It's a bit of a pain because of the line, but let's remove them anyways. Now once that's done, you can right click on them, doesn't matter with what, so you can just have an empty hand, and right click on the torch and that sort of locks it into place. Now if you place a quarry from sort of anywhere, oh, not anywhere, you have to place it next to a torch. I actually never tested that, so there you go. It punches off all these and it makes this area for a quarry easy enough. So this is very, very, very simple. 
Now the way we're going to power this, let me get rid of all this stuff. Uh, the way we're going to power this for now is with some redstone engines. Now this is not ideal, it's going to be very slow, but you know, it doesn't really matter for us for this example. Um, you can use combustion engines, steam engines, all that sort of good stuff, but they can explode. <laughs> so be careful with that. So let's just uh, let's just do it like that. That's fine. No. Wow, really? Um, what's happening? Uh. Did I bug something out? Oh, there we go. Whoosh, that went slowly. That one still doesn't work, that's weird. Anyways, so as soon as you power it, it'll start to very slowly build up. Um, once these redstone engines go faster, it gets better and better, but that's how it's going to go very slow. Now, the other thing you need is some pipes, and I've just got some cobblestone pipes. You can easily make these with some um, some glass in the middle and some thingies on the side, some cobblestone or uh, cooked stone, and that makes you a couple of pipes. And anything this quarry is going to dig up, we're going to have to pull out like that. So it's going to spew it out into here, and we can put a chest or anything we want. So. Although our quarry is up and running, it's very slow. So I'll just make something just for testing purposes. Um, I will um, teach how to make this sort of stuff in, in the next tutorial. And this is all to do with converting power from build craft items like this. Um, to there we go. Uh, where's the output? That side. <laughs> um, have a wrench. Can I get a wrench, please? Wrench. Wrench. Uh, let's get that one. There we go. Took. Took. Is that going to explode? No. Cool, so there we go, now it's faster. Look at that. So as you can see, it's sort of building up this whole quarry frame. And the arm comes out. And now be careful, you can stand on these. But you can't stand on this, you just fall through. And it's going to get to one of the sides. And it's just going to go layer by layer down. Um, so this is the fastest speed it can go at uh, because I've got some HV solar array and this is not really... Um, it is emptying actually, but not that fast. See, now we go. And all the stuff is getting pumped out of there. And you can put it in a chest or a sorting facility or, you know. So, <coughs> after this... Oh, it's of a low voltage solar array. Of course that's going to be slow. Of course. Let's hook them all up, shall we? Now it takes surprisingly little amount of power. Um, yeah, there we go, still filling up. Which is surprising because it does a lot of good stuff. Like you can have two, two of these, three of these, you know, easy. And as you can see where the yellow line was here, that's where this frame comes into. Uh, and it's not going to dig under that, so be careful of that. So yeah, next episode I'll show you how to convert power from these industrial craft uh, machines. So the MFSU, MFE, etc. into a quarry like I did here. So thanks for watching guys. See ya.